Here is a General Electric 70 watts high pressure sodium the street light. This is from June of 1994. It interestingly is a 120 volts model. I don't think it's a multi-tap ballast so hopefully that's still the case and no one's tampered with it or anything. General Electric Ballast, General Electric Socket, General Electric Lighting Systems, Hendersonville, North Carolina. I don't know if that's where this was made or if that's just where the plant was. Um, June 1994 category number whoops M2 is it P or R oh gosh M2 R R 07 S 1 N 2 AMS 2004 70 watts, 2.2 amps, so 120 volts, so this must not be a high power factor light. Seventy-five degrees Celsius supply wire. And it says outdoor use only. Though I think that this will actually end up being used indoors. I think this will most likely end up in the downstairs stairwell here. So we're going to test this today to see if it works. It is a, um, a Moggle base socket. So we've got a Moggle to E26 adapter here, which we will screw in there. Had a bad angle. Okay, so we got the adapter in there. This is a uh, polar lights bulb. I just grabbed this from the fixtures on the deck just for the test. Go ahead and connect our uh, electricity to this, and then we'll apply some some voltage and see what happens. Uh, I salvaged this from a scrap pile. It's missing some screws. It's missing some parts. It's definitely missing some kind of a latch. A latch that would go from here and then meet uh, a part right over here in the top to keep it shut. So missing that piece which is kind of a crucial component although I can probably remake one out of some kind of metal. It's also missing the lens which I could remake one a flat one I believe I have some some uh, some plexiglass left over from the air conditioner set up in the living room. Or I could probably find a big refraction lens from somewhere. So I think I'm going to mount this in the stairwell and I'm just not sure what kind of bulb to set it up with. I might do a 
a ballast bypass and just put a regular like 40 or 60 watt bulb in there because in the stairwell you're going to want instant on but then on the other hand like you're going to replace the 70 watts with the 60 watts and reduce the light by you know a lot so you might as well run to 10 more watts and get more light well, I don't know we'll see what, what we're going to do I have not decided yet uh, where's the Meter set up here, and I also have to get a a shorting cap. I think I have some right in the room here. I'll show two. This, that one, and then this is a shorting cap. Yeah, this is a shorting cap. This is what we'll actually put on for the video. This is General Electric branded as well. There's the tab I mentioned. This is the one that it came to me with. It's a Fisher Perky Pierce, I don't know, whatever. Photoelectric control. I'm not sure if it works. It definitely got some mage to it. The, the eye is starting to get all cloudy. Not sure if this is original or not. I would tend to think that it would have had a General Electric one originally because everything else here is General Electric, but who knows? Alright, so let's stick this in. And we'll plug this in. And let's see if everything blows up or if it works. I hear I hear humming which is a little concerning nope. 0.07 amps 0 0.04 watts power factor 0 0.4 well I'm not sure I haven't even attempted to troubleshoot this this yet I was just curious if it was gonna start up and run out of the gate or not I know the bulb is good because I was using the bulb worked last night well I'm not going to throw the ballast out because these ballasts are getting rare. But uh, I think I'm going to put the ballast in a box or play with it some other day. And we'll just take all that apparatus out of there again carefully to preserve it. And we'll just turn this into a, bi a ballast bypass and we'll set it up in the, in the stairwell. It's going to be a bit of a project though because we have to, we have to do a lot of rewire. Uh, well, we do have to do some rewiring. But we have to do a lot of cleanup on this thing. We're going to have to go through with a wire brush and uh, get all the rust and all the, the dirt off. I'm pretty sure that this the finish cannot be salvaged. I'll give it a shot. I mean, it's possible that that it can be salvaged. It's not too rusted, actually. You know what? It's better than I thought it was. This is definitely some rust here, so maybe the maybe the top should be sanded down and redone. This is kind of shabby over here. Okay, so actually it is as it is as bad as I thought it was. It's just the bottom the bottom part's not too bad. So I think we're gonna go over the whole thing with the wire brush, get all the paint off, repaint it, and then uh, we'll try to clean this out. This I think will clean up okay, and then. Uh, I'll, I'll see what I can do about getting a lens. If the lenses are economical, like 20 bucks, then maybe I'll grab one. But uh, if they're not economical, which since they're probably going to have to come from the e ripoff, it probably will not be economical. I most likely will just cut a piece of the 
glass that's left over from the upstairs project and put it over there or we could just have nothing there because uh, it doesn't need to be watertight so that's a little bit disappointing I'm not sure exactly what the problem is I suspect it's something very simple um, we'll have to investigate this later on but uh, well, it makes an easy decision we're gonna go with the with the ballast bypass set up for the stairwell uh, so next video on this we'll start taking it apart put the ballast away in a box keep that good and then we'll start cleaning it up and see what we can make it look like